evening and a very warm or very hot welcome to Cape Town and South African Drug Policy Week of 2018. The war on drugs has failed. It has failed on the streets of the United States where it began. It has failed hideously in the carnage of Latin America and the poppy fields of Afghanistan. It has failed in Britain and it has failed in South Africa. Welcome to Drug Policy 2018. Let the conversations begin. Thank you. South African Drug Policy Week is an initiative where we attempt to bring together the 150 most important drug policy stakeholders in South Africa. We bring them into the same room and we introduce them to international experts, new evidence-based ideas around drug policy, and have a, a robust dialogue and conversation about what sort of drug policies we should be implementing in South Africa to ensure the safety and security of all our population. United Nations General Assembly special session on drugs that took place a couple of years ago. And this outcome document when speaking about drug policy and drug use, I think there are two key things that you can take and uh, use in the policy dialogue with the government. One is the document is clear that any interventions should be based on human rights. The other thing is that each uh, intervention, any like policy development, should be evidence-based. This is also something that is very often forgotten during these policy discussions with decision makers. To my knowledge, this is the, uh, the South African Drug Policy Week is the only event of this kind on the African continent. Now, Africa is just opening up to the problem. Africa is realizing that it has a problem, whereas it has been thinking that it has no problem for many years. Addiction recovery is not about abstinence from the drug, it is breaking free from the conditioned stimuli, as well as letting go of the toxic thoughts and emotions. But the logic of drug law reform is the same. The war on drugs doesn't work anywhere, and we need to have a more uh, rational, evidence-based, uh, health-focused drug policy. Um, as a mental health practitioner, you know, I see people who, who come in with substance-induced psychotic disorder, mood disorders, anxiety disorders. Um, and so, you know, this is a difficult conversation for me because I absolutely believe in harm reduction. I absolutely believe that people should have access to clean needles if they're going to use, that people should not be prosecuted for using uh, substances, that the issues are, we're focusing on the wrong issues. I think access to methadone is a crucial issue and we know the best practice is. In terms of the World Health Organization package, comprehensive package of services, it is critical that this is included and explicitly recommended in the National Drug Master Plan. So if there's anyone here from the Central Drug Authority, we cannot be clearer than this is the recommendation of what should be in the National Drug Master Plan. The position has shifted significantly from the first South African Drug Policy uh, Week, which happened in 2016. At that time, we had absolutely no OST in the country. We had no needle and syringe programs, or very few needle and syringe programs. And now we've progressed to a stage where we've got opioid substitution available for people who are dependent on heroin. We've got needle and syringe programs. We've got the Global Fund present. And so there's been a lot of progress. My name is Poshiam Tim, and I am ready now to tell my story. My name is Mbumem Tombeni. I play Poshiam Tembu, a policewoman in the play called Unwembu. My character learns um, that um, w when it becomes very personal, when it becomes your story, it's, it's a different thing. Marisa. I want to feel that feeling again, Tuan. Damn, Shandari, man. That can't be arranged, boy. When, bro? So, please, I'm going to
conference as a whole is incredibly important because we're always seeing uh, things about drugs and gangs and negativity and violence and hurt and harm in our media and to be able to have a constructive dialogue about this very important issue. Well, we've just done a presentation and our arch enemies at the Central Dog Authority have just invited us for tea. So that is quite a big change and I can't believe I actually said yes. <laughs> so that's changed many things. Drugs and drug use should be decriminalized and that it's a human rights issue as well as a health issue. And the health issue is something that we take very seriously. Our objective for the next five years is to call for effective public health measures to improve outcomes for people who use drugs and urge government to implement programs that reduce the impact of the harms associated with drug use. What's impressive to me actually in this conference in particular is the range of views. You know, I often go to places where people are already on my side and so they, it, it's just sort of about tweaking and expanding and making it even better and we sort of have a common front of, of what it is that we want to get accomplished. This actually was an interesting experience for me because people are asking questions that I haven't been asked in a long time. And, and that's actually really great. The that's drug policy was a success in one way. One being that it helps us to see things in a more integrated way, in a very comprehensive way. The only way they're going to realise how important harm reduction and drug policy changes is to be part of the discussion. South African Drug Policy Week's been amazing. It puts new ideas in front of you, it clarifies thinking, it evokes focus. And we learned a lot. We learned that people are liberal and that there's yeah, time's right for change. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in terms of making sure that we encourage, encourage government to get more involved. And obviously next year I'd like to see the city of Cape Town, city of Johannesburg here, and the city of Edtukini, just to make sure that when we're discussing, when we're discussing policy, they're also in the room. We show the international community what South Africa is doing. Um, so, wow, where to from here? It only, it only gets more exciting. Oh, 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 o